Hello all, I am Siddharth Kaul and I welcome you to Edupedia World. This is a part 3 video of Linear Algebra. In part 1 we covered the parts highlighted in yellow, in part 2 we covered the parts highlighted in red. So in the previous video we saw what a Kronecker product and saw an example of it. We saw how to find p norm of vector and matrix for most common value of p, 1, 2 and infinity. We saw the rules that are to be met so as to enable multi-thread computation with linear algebra. We took a look into system of linear equations. We saw the general form and took a brief look at iterative methods available for solving system of simultaneous linear equations. We also saw how to find inverse and determinants of a square matrix. Now moving on. Factorization. It is nothing but decomposition of a matrix into product of smaller matrix. Factorization says that a square matrix A is a product of two or more smaller matrices. In this case, A is product of two smaller matrices X1 and X2. There are three methods in factorization that make use of triangle matrices. Koleski factorization, LU factorization and QR factorization. We will see that what kind of functions are available in MATLAB to handle these factorizations. Koleski factorization. Koleski says a symmetric matrix A is a product of a triangular matrix R and its transpose R transpose, where R is an upper triangular matrix. Not all symmetric matrices can be factored in this way. The matrices that have such a factorization are said to be positive definite. This in simple words implies that all diagonal elements of A are positive and the off diagonal elements are not too big. In the previous examples, we have used Pascal function to generate Pascal matrices. The Pascal matrices provide a very very interesting example for this particular scenario. So for the purpose of demonstration of uh, Kuleski factorization, I am going to create a 6 by 6 symmetric matrix using the function Pascal and passing value of 6 as an input argument. Do note that elements of matrix A are binomial coefficients, which means that each element is the sum of its north and west neighbors. So using the function col, that is C-H-O-L, we can find the decomposition of matrix A and we can find the value of matrix R. So by passing matrix A in Koleski function, we get an upper triangular matrix R that is shown on the screen. So when we do a multiplication of R with R transpose, as shown, we get back our original matrix. This is a Koleski factorization. Note that Koleski factorization also applies to complex matrices. Any complex matrix that has a Koleski factorization satisfy A transpose is equal to A is said to be Hermitian positive definite. The Koleski factorization allows a linear system that is AX equal to B to be replaced by R transpose RX equal to B. Because the backslash operator recognizes the triangular systems, this can be solved in MATLAB environment quickly with the equation X equal to R backslash R transpose backslash B. If A is an n by n matrix, then the computational complexity of Koleski function of A is O n to the power 3, but the complexity of the subsequent backslash solution is only O n to the power 2. The LU factorization. LU factorization or Gaussian elimination expresses any square matrix A as the product of a permutation of a lower triangular matrix and an upper triangular matrix that is A is equal to LU where L is a lower triangular matrix and U is the upper triangular matrix. The permutation are necessary for both theoretical and computational reasons. So before moving to example I want to say couple of things about the necessity of permutation in LU factorization. For this sake let's first take the first matrix shown that is 0 1 and 1 0. This matrix cannot be expressed as the product of triangular matrix without interchanging its two rows. So in this case permutation is required. Whereas in the second case with epsilon in the matrix 
this matrix can be expressed as a product of triangular matrices. But when epsilon is small, the elements in the factors are large and those magnify the errors. So even the permutation is not needed in this case. It is desirable to have so as to have a more accurate result. Now moving to example, I'm going to create a non-symmetric matrix A using the function magic by passing 3. So I get a non-symmetric matrix A. Now using the function LU and passing matrix A as an argument, I'm going to get an LU decomposition. So as we can see, L is a lower triangular matrix and U is an upper triangular matrix. The LU factorization of matrix A allows the linear system AX equal to B to be solved quickly with equation x equal to u backslash l backslash b. The determinants and inverses are computed from the LU factorization using determinant, determinant of a is equal to multiplication of determinant of l and u. Similarly, inverse of a is the multiplication of inverse of u and l. Do note that in determinant L forefronts the multiplication and in inverse U forefronts the multiplication. QR factorization. Before moving to QR factorization, it is essential that we take a look at what are orthogonal matrices. An orthogonal matrix or a matrix with orthonormal columns is a real matrix whose columns all have unit length and are perpendicular to each other. If Q is orthogonal, then Q transpose Q equal to 1. The simplest orthogonal matrix is a two-dimensional coordinate rotation that is cos theta, sin theta, minus sin theta and cos theta. For complex matrices, the corresponding term is unitary. Orthogonal and unitary matrices are desirable for numerical computation because they preserve length, preserve angles and do not magnify the errors. The orthogonal or QR factorization expresses any rectangular matrix as a product of an orthogonal or unitary matrix and an upper triangular matrix. A column permutation might also be involved. So the QR factorization says that A is equal to QR or AP is equal to QR where Q is orthogonal matrix, R is an upper triangular matrix and P is a permutation. There are four variants of QR factorization that is full or economy size and with or without column permutation. As an example, I am going to consider full size QR factorization for an overdetermined system of linear equation. The overdetermined system of linear equations involves a rectangular matrix with more rows than columns. That is for a matrix M by N, the M is greater than N. The full size QR factorization produces a square M by M orthogonal Q and a rectangle M by N upper triangular R. So first, for example, I'm going to create a matrix C with five rows and four columns using function gallery. For your information, function gallery uses the provided matrix family to create the desired size of matrix from available built-in matrix files. So when I say uniform data, there is already a mat .mat file in built-in MATLAB of uniform data and I'm saying to create five rows and four columns. So I get a matrix C. So the matrix highlighted in yellow is the matrix that I created, which is matrix C. And on this matrix, I'm going to apply QR decomposition. As you can see, this is a full size QR decomposition. So a square orthogonal Q of dimension five by five is produced and a rectangular upper matrix R is produced. Q is highlighted as green and R is highlighted as blue. The QR factorization transforms an overdetermined linear system into an equivalent triangular system. The expression norm of AX minus B now equals to norm of QRX minus B. Multiplication by orthogonal matrices preserves the Euclidean norm. So this expression is also equal to norm of RX minus Y, where Y is Q transpose into B. Since the last M minus N rows of R are zero, this expression breaks into two places. The first one is norm of Rx minus y and norm of y. This concludes our video on factorization. Coming up next, we have powers on exponential and eigenvalues and eigenvectors of matrices.
so please subscribe and thanks for watching